Now, North Korea has reportedly sent a letter to the White House officially protesting the release of the Hollywood film The Interview. The action comedy, which stars, uh, stars like Seth Rogen and James Franco, portrays a fictional attempt by the CIA to assassinate North Korean leader Kim Jong un. Now, Shin Se Min has this report. The Interview, a film on a CIA mission to assassinate North Korean leader Kim Jong un, is set to be released in October. But the trailer alone has been enough to stir up controversy, given that it's the first ever Hollywood movie that depicts the young North Korean leader. Seth Rogen, who also co produced and co directed the film, tweeted last month that he hopes Kim Jong un watches the movie and enjoys it. And of course, North Korea is not happy with this film. It called the film as a wanton act of terror and warned the U.S. of a merciless response if the movie is released. North Korea also appealed its complaint to the United Nations. North Korea's ambassador to the U.N. sent a letter to the U.N. Secretary General saying the film is an act of war and calls the two directors as terrorists. Now, Rogan seemingly enjoying the responses his movie has engendered out of Pyongyang later tweeted again, this time joking that people normally don't want to kill him until after they've paid $12 to see one of his films. And in the latest development, Pyongyang has sent a letter of protest over the movie, this time to the White House. Voice of America reports that the North asked White House National Security Council to review the letter, which said it could not comment on the movie. Now, at this point, there are no signs that Columbia Pictures, the distributor of the interview, has any plan to shelve this film. While they haven't commented on the threats out of Pyongyang, they no doubt are enjoying the free publicity the North is providing them. Shin Se Min, Arirang News.